Alex, Jim, and Ron. And we are about to begin the second period. Why don't we take it away, gentlemen, and turn down to the ice. Yes. San Jose Sharks versus, of course, your LA Kings. So um, I, I guess you're going to do play-by-play. -play I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to do a little play-by-play -play uh, here. I see. I used to do some with the uh, San Diego Gulls oh, in you're the gonna, IHL. Uh, of course, they were horrible. Um, most of the team didn't actually have skates. I see. They just run around in their uh, gym shoes on a slippery ice. Uh, right now, Kings had a, I would say, a, a fairly strong first period. Um, got some shots off. Uh, 15 to 7 in shots, right? Is that what I'm reading? Outstanding period. Yes. They were outstanding. And here we are controlling the puck, passing over to who was that guy? That'd be Sean Walker. Sean Walker, one of my favorites. Moving across, and we've got some moving into the brownie on the uh, on the attack here into the uh, defensive zone, offensive zone, well defensive zone for the Sharks. San Jose Sharks. You don't they like are, those guys, uh, are 94 points, I believe, Not right? Bad. In the Western Conference. Not bad at all. Number four, number four in the uh, league, of course. They have yet to win a Stanley Cup. San Jose Sharks have never won a Stanley Cup. Could you say that one more time? Stan. Oh, shot on goal, Walker. Kid out of Ontario, right? He's got to be out of Ontario. Is he? Or Michigan? Could be both. Ontario Keswick. Oh, okay. You've been there. I, uh, yes. we, we've both been there, Foxy. Hockey, hockey Mecca. Keswick, Ontario. You and I uh, shared a couple of uh, Molsons. I only had one. You only had one. Yep. And I had 15. <laughs> Kings on the breakaway. Here we have a shot on goal. Save by Martin Jones. Martin Jones, former Kings player. If I. Yeah, you if have I, that right. If I'm correct. Yep, yep. He enjoys, uh, you know what he does in the offseason? He works with puppets. He does? Yes. Is he a puppeteer? He's a puppeteer. And uh, I've been to one of his puppet shows. They're actually quite good. Um, this is really a wonderful vantage point. You guys must never get sick of this. Best. Uh, I believe. myself feel a little bit nauseous, and I hope I don't <laughs> throw up during the broadcast. That, that but if I do, yeah. I'm going to throw up right on Foxy. That's oh, good. that'd be fine. That's okay. It's happened before. <laughs> it's happened before? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? When I during talk, a broadcast, yeah. When I talk, people throw up all the time. Oh. I didn't know that. Yes. It's, a, it's actually a physical reaction. Uh, something's happening. Down in the end, the Kings, uh, of course, have uh, re-commandeered the puck. And now they're moving it up the ice to Foley, over to uh, Benson, back to Foley, over to Haver. He's looking for Havershaw. No. Toffoli through, through the zone, dumps it in. I believe that was a dump. Toffoli again. Oh, big hit by Carter. Jeff Carter. He is a statuesque man. I once saw Jeff Carter with his shirt off in the locker room. You and, did? Uh, what was your reaction? He's got the goods. Oh, shot on goal! Carter, just as I was talking about. But of course, another save by Martin Jones. Who's 19 for uh, San Jose there? That'd be Joe Thornton. Oh, Joe Thornton. Big Joe. Duck Dynasty Joe Thornton. That beard. Apparently, someone found a corn dog in Joe Thornton's beard during the intermission break. That's not all they saw. There, there's a lot of old remnants of food in George Thornton's beard. San Jose working it around, taking a few shots. But what a, oh, pad save! And cleared by the Kings. Take that, San Jose. Zero Stanley Cups. Zero Stanley Cups for the San Jose Shark. They wouldn't even know what the Stanley Cup looked like if it fell on their head. Kopitar. Now with the puck, skating through center ice, drops it off, shot on goal. You're not bad at this run, I got You say. know what? I feel very relaxed. Like riding a bike, right? Yeah. It's like riding a bike. Did it before? Well, you guys know. Now, it, we're oh, not. Someone just handed me something. Yes, they did. Um, we're we're going to read that card that was just handed okay. in a moment. If you want to read it, you can. You're allowed. Just wait till we okay. get a whistle. Okay. You know. Here we go. The card will be ready. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh oh. Well, that was not supposed to happen. I'm going to take that card out of your hand, Ron. That, that was, was number uh, 48, Tomas Hertel. He has really improved his game this year, Ron. He, he, he really has. Good save. I, I, I mean, a wonderful save. You can't ask more than that. And then a little back pass. Oh. Screened by his own man, right? Use the defenseman as a screen. Watch it. She'll shoot right okay. between the legs. A Outside. little tweener. Yeah. And then what can you do? Well. It happens. It does happen. Unfortunately, we're down 2-1. You know, it's a possibility that all that saying that they had zero Stanley Cups, you could have jinxed them. You know, you could have jinxed the Kings. Well, I don't believe in superstition. Well, that's good. Then both of us are on the yes. same page in that. I don't believe in that, even though I I have worn the same underwear, the same lucky underwear for every broadcast I've done. Really? Yes. It's. I had to keep it together with staples and duct tape. It's shredded. Must be uncomfortable with those it, it is uncomfortable. The more I think about it, I try not to think about it. Shot on goal again. We've got to put that man down. You know what I mean? San Jose. You guys have been to San Jose. I know the way there. Yes. It's a, it's a lovely town. Right? It is. Alex. It is a lovely town, and they have. Uh, it's no San Diego. It, it no. is true that it is not San Diego. It's San Jose. They share the same first name, though. A lot of room there because they don't have any cups taking up to the rest Yeah, that's room. right. That's true. In that's right. Space. Oh, look at this. Oh, you're on the video. You pre I it. didn't authorize this. Oh. Go, Kings! Go, Kings! Go! Come on, people! No one's listening. Are you? They can listen to the TV, though. They can hear. And, and I hope the TV audience was hearing exactly. me. Would you be known as a homer as an announcer? I would. Uh, well, do you mean would I pull from the yes. team that I was announcing yes. for? Yes. Oh hell yes. Yeah, oh yes. Yes. No. When it comes to announcing sports, I have zero journalistic integrity. But you have journalist integrity the rest of the time. Right? The rest of the time, yes. I'm aces. Because you're a serious professional and can handle well, anything thrown at you. Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, well, I did say that yes. in the documentary film that was made apart about my life. Was that a award? Is Toffoli Italian? Italian? Is he an Italian player? I, I believe he's from See. Canada. Oh. I have him here from Scarborough, Ontario. Another Ontario boy. That's the Italian part of. Oh, I all, the, all the that's the that's known as uh, the Tuscany of Canada. Correct. Now, as you made your way from the the Forum to uh, Staples Center here, right. uh, were, were you listening to one of your podcasts on the way? This is something that uh, I was listening. Has come up yes, recently. I have the Ron Burgundy podcast out now, available uh, on wherever podcasts are available. I still. I still don't. Tomas Hurdle, the announcer just said. All he had to do was listen to you. Oh, okay. Yes, I already gave yes. the, that information. He's way behind. Um, but uh, yes, we've started the Ron Burgundy podcast, which is fascinating. You can download these podcasts and download them to your phone uh, and listen to them. Uh, when they first approached me about doing a podcast, I was like, okay, how are we going to do this? Do we record it on a cassette tape and then just drop it off at people's houses? Uh, and they said, no, there's, no. A, there's a lot easier way to do it. Uh, but we, uh, oh, Kings had a chance there. Poked away. I did it today, and it took me eight seconds. Eight seconds, and isn't that wonderful? And we, uh, we have stimulating conversation and wonderful guests, and it's, uh, it's, it's really been... Uh, a, a wonderful new chapter of my now, career. Now, the most important question that I had on my mind was, right. what do you think of Jim Fox's hair? Jim Fox, I mean, Jim Fox has got amazing hair. Gorgeous, luxurious. I'll, I'll share a secret with you in a moment, Ron, about okay. my hair. It's, it's something I don't tell a lot of people. Foxy, do you use a lot of product? 
I You're do. not afraid of the product. I do. Yeah. Product goo is good. I use Penn's oil. Uh-huh. Motor oil. Yep. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, there's a slap shot by Thornton. Now, he reminds me of a Swedish player, Swedish national player from the 60s, Emil Wool, a defenseman, who was actually neutered in a game against Ooh. Hungary in the Innsbruck Olympics. Ooh. I don't know if you guys remember that. I, I don't. penalized for it, or did they get a penalty on the play? The, he, he did not get the, the ref didn't see it. Oh. Wow, Quickie lost his mask there. Snapped it. Now, what's, what's going to happen there? Yeah, you just blow it down. Okay. Put it on. When we come back in a couple seconds. We're going to come back for, wait, in right after this, back with more Kings Hockey, Ron Burgundy. Hey, Ron Burgundy, so we heard that you're announcing a Kings game tonight. We wanted to wish you luck, have fun, and stay classy, Ron Burgundy. How nice is that? Wow, doesn't right? get any better. And you know what's wonderful about that is that that's the first time that Miss Universe and Miss USA have been in the room together in a long time. They've been feuding recently. Really? And it's just great to see them bury the hatchet, so to speak. See, this is the great type of information we get yeah. from a proud oh, yeah. newsman like exactly. you. Exactly. I heard about a feud recently. You and Diana Ross kind of not kicking it off well, or? Diana Ross. I know Ross. it's tough for you to talk about. I, well, I used to date Diana Ross, and uh, she dumped me. Uh, this was a while ago. Right. And I've never let go of it. It's been a... It's, it's been contentious, at least on my part. From what I hear from Diana's people, she, she doesn't remember who I am. Uh, Was there a restraining order involved? Or? There, well, I'd rather not talk about it on the air. Okay. Legal? It's still pending. Yes. yes. Now, my, my tip for the hair, it, Ron, is it, this. Yes, what's your tip for the hair? I know you've done before. Sure. I take my headset right. to the gentleman who cuts my hair and put it on so we can and cut then around you shape it. the haircut yes, yes. around wow. the heads. Alex, do you do the same I, thing? I, you know what? I'm picking up notes as I go here. Experience. That's well, one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life. I, I, I want to share it with you because your hair is just impeccable. Oh, no. Break. Trip him. Trip. Yes. Quick with the pad save there on the arm. The blocker, right? The blocker. I believe it's called a blocker. Oh, yes, it is. I'm surprised Quickie didn't go Ron Hextall on him and chop him in the legs, you know? <laughs> For those of you who don't remember Ron Hextall, oh. he wasn't afraid to, to get into the back of your... Oh, oh. I just was brought a, a bean burrito and a glass of milk. Oh, not to your Bailey. favorites. Not Thank you so much, Bailey. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry I yelled at you in the hallway walking up here, but you scared the living but Jesus out of me. Wait, a, he tends to do that. When a six-foot lion appears out of nowhere and doesn't say anything, it's weird. Well, you've had experience with zoo animals before. You don't mind if I bite into this burrito oh, right now, do you? Oh, my God. Yeah. No. That is delicious. Now, while you're eating. Alex, get into that burrito. Uh, I'll, I'll get into that burrito. Get into that burrito. In, in just me. a moment. Oh, I want you want some. burrito? Yeah. Oh, my God. I do have a, a question because I'm, I'm fascinated here. First, the tip about the hair and, and all the other things I'm picking up here. Right. Um, like eating a burrito on the air. You know, I, I'm a newcomer, relatively speaking. Uh, is there any advice you can offer to, to someone like myself who has not quite as much experience in the broadcast world as, as yourself? Well, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, relate to the people, relate to the audience, and uh, uh, and don't be afraid during. A telecast, no matter how exciting the action is on the ice, is to tell personal stories about your life. Oh. Uh, just interject at any time, and because that's what the viewer or the listener is going to remember at the end of the day. I have to take notes on that. Yeah. Personal stories. Okay. For instance, I remember the time, Foxy, you remember this. It was you, yep. me, yep. Bernie Nichols. Remember that? And uh, another good head of hair. A, a great head of hair. Oh. And uh, Don Legay. Ron Duguay? Ron Duguay. Yeah, yeah, Ron Duguay, yeah. He said it in a couple different ways, okay. depending on where he was. Ron Duguay. And we all went down to Tijuana. And uh, the rest, I don't remember. But look at that head of hair. Nice, that's good. Ron had a head of hair that rivaled uh, Jim Fox's head of hair. 
which was also outstanding. And back both in from the, day. the same hometown, Ron and I. Did you guys know each other growing up? Oh yes. Were you were you arch enemies? No, no. We're okay. Kinda, yeah. He's a little bit older than me. You could tell, right? But gosh, he was a heartthrob, if I remember correctly. Oh yes. And you were not, my friend. <laughs> and still not. But he had the hair. He had the hair. And he did have a perm back in the day. I like point. this kid, Shimpe, the Swedish kid. Yes. That would be uh, Kempe. Adrian. Adrian Shimpe. You know they just did a poll, NHL right. players. Okay. Who has the best hair in the league? Oh, who? who and right? four of the top five were Swedes. See, the Swedes know what you're doing. They would know what they're doing. I mean, that's a. Uh, do you, that's do you have any, Sassoon country? You have any Swede in you at all with that head of hair? I'm. I am. Uh, I know you and Odin. I'm you not, follow Odin quite a bit. I, so. I, I, I quote Odin a lot. Yeah. I'm not necessarily. I do have. Oddly enough, uh, I'm. 37 percent Dutch. Ah. So I did that thing, uh, you know, the the where you swab the yeah, inside yeah, of your yeah. mouth. Yeah, the, exactly. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the DNA test. test. Yeah, the DNA thing. Yeah. And I was mostly Dutch and Portuguese, oddly enough. Oh. So. And the name. Oh, like right across. Oh, something happened. With a name like Burgundy. Oh, little tip shot. With a name, you would think I was from France. Right, exactly. My, yeah. Oh. You well, know what? Bailey brought me this. Ice cold cup of milk, and guess what? It's there's vodka in it. Really? And I'm not, not going to send it back. I thought you preferred warm milk. I no. do. I, I I prefer warm, room temperature to hot milk. Gotcha. And if and if it's buttermilk, I won't say no. Gotcha. And and do you still uh, carry a flask everywhere you go? Uh, yes, I do for emergencies in case I'm, you know, lost. Or can't get out of my car in sub-freezing uh, temperatures. I'll have a little nip from the from the flask. What sort of formation would you say the Kings are running right now? That would be the uh, one-two-two. Two. Two. Are they running? Well, the we're going to go to another break. Again, yeah. This producer keeps talking in my ear. Yes. Okay, we'll be he right back. Right after this. Patrick O'Neill down here on the ice, and we have Ron Burgundy up in the booth. Ron, if you don't mind, if I could also ask a question of you. I know we're Certainly. Hitting, thank you. We're hitting yes. you up big time. You know, I get an opportunity to interview celebrities, A-listers, movie stars down here at the game, and sometimes I'm confused. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, continue. Well, yes. let me know. Like, I had James Kahn yeah. one time. Oh, that Jimmy Kahn, classic. I know you go back. Yes. So what, what advice would you give me to get a celebrity, a top movie star, like, out of his shell to have a good interview? Well, Patrick, I met you earlier before the... Uh, before the match, yep. and uh, I, to, to be quite honest, and I hope you take this the right way, you need to change your cologne. No. <laughs> you need to switch it up to a Drakkar Noir, yeah, or maybe a uh, Tiger, the Tiger uh, one, the, the, the Tiger one. <laughs> Love uh, sex, right. sex Panther, thank, thank something like that. Yeah, thank you. I'll try. Which has real bits of Panther in it, <laughs> and it's mostly gasoline. <laughs> so, is that why you put the in your hair? The the, the pens oil? The pens oil and the gasoline really mixed together. Now, I can't get near a match uh, within a thousand feet. Working, yeah. But must make starting your car pretty difficult. When does the kiss cam start? Oh, that's I don't know. You know? Get it on. We might have to uh, buzz upstairs and see if we can get that. Because I'm gonna I'll kiss this burrito on camera <laughs> for the kiss cam if it happens. Quickie just lost his mask again. Second he time. Second time. What's the what's how many times have you seen a goalie lose a mask in, in, in a game? Not twice. Not twice, right? That's a good omen. If you say so. Uh, no, watch. See, great save. There you go. See, I'm I'm just learning on the fly here. Now, is that not a penalty if the if the goalie loses? I mean, that's that's very dangerous if you lose the mask. Or was that a self-inflicted? Uh, it's uh, they'll, they'll blow the whistle. They'll blow the play dead if it's a danger to the goaltender. If it's an immediate scoring chance, yeah. they'll let it go. Now, gentlemen, I have to ask you about tonight's promotion, which I thought was very strange. Bring your stray cat uh, to the to the game tonight. There have been, for those of you at home, we've had to stop action on the ice several times. Yeah. Feral cats have have run onto the ice. Uh, why would the organization promote bringing stray cats into the Staples Center? Yeah, it's I been a tough year, Ron. So any yeah. any promotion to get people in the building okay. has been a tough year. Well, stray cat night is a weird one. Yeah. Unless the stray cats were going to play here after 
after the game. You know, that's possible. They do have groups that come out and play uh, before and after okay. Kings game. So maybe the Stray center, Cats so. are going to be playing. Wow. Yeah. That's a newsflash. You heard it here. Stray Cats will be playing after the game here at Staples That center. might make the 11 o'clock news in, in San Diego. Oh, it will. It will. Now, when will the Kings start running an octagon formation? Does that exist in hockey? It does. Yeah. It's just a matter of you have to wait till you're There we go. Oh. Just freeze it. Freeze it in the boards. You can't freeze it anymore like you used to no, back in the day. Right. He used to blow yep. it down. Yep. Keep it going. Oh, keep it gotta going. keep it in the zone. Come on, fellas. Here we go. That was a nasty little check from behind. I don't think it, that was a that was a how do you, how you do. Icing. <laughs> San Jose iced it. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm absorbing so many things here tonight. Right. But, uh, you know, among L.A.'s greatest broadcasters, you have Finn Scully, you have Bob sure. Miller, of course, late Chick Hearn, Ralph Lawler with the Clippers, Dick Enberg with the Padres. Who, who is your favorite among these legends? And where do you think well, you rank among them oh, in I terms am, of the South? I am, I am very much in their shadow. These are all legends. Yeah. Of course, I think you got to... You got to throw in uh, John Cherry up oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Hockey night, right? And uh, and your 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 guys' colleague uh, Daryl Evans. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. I mean the way he dresses. Oh, gee. He is a real champion. He is. Does he make his own suits? He does not. It looks like it, it looks like they, yes. they're poorly tailored. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But every, there's Daryl. There he is. He's got look at that the, uh, right next door on the, the radio violet, booth. The violet kind of color. Always with the with the, the pocket Puff. square. Natalie attired. Great to see. You got some new threads, looks like here. Yeah, this is I, a really I, sharp looking suit. I decided to. Uh, yeah, it's from the. Uh, it's from the Katy Perry uh, J C Penny line. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Katy Perry's going into men's clothing. Little known. Nice. Little known fact. We'll check that out someday. You should. It's really sharp. And, and what was the origin of the turtleneck? Was that was that just a style of the time that, that kept on going, that or is there kept, some other significance? Well, as you as you when you look around the arena, most people are wearing turtlenecks. It's come back so strong. Um, in fact, I'm counting. Let's see, one, at least at least 700 people I can just see right here wearing turtlenecks, and uh, it's just a look that never went went out of style. Producers counting again. Oh, they're counting but, again. Yeah. So we can leave okay, the break. We're, we're going to go to break. We'll be. We'll come back with more Kings hockey right after this. Oh, moments ago, you, you asked for the kiss cam. I asked Ron. for the kiss cam, and lo and behold, it's the first time I've ever been on the kiss cam. And, and, and you've asked for the stray cats, and guess who's playing? And look, at, this is one of the greatest nights of my life. I got to kiss a burrito on the kiss cam, Love listening it. to the stray cats. Man. If only the Stray Cats themselves were here. Oh my gosh, they're here. They're behind us, guys. Don't look. I'm just kidding. You had me there for a second. This couple. Oh. They cut to them every time. Renowned. Renowned. Are they just long time season ticket holders? I don't even think assume? they're married. I don't. They... <laughs> oh, there's a shot I go by Martinez. But it didn't happen. Now, I've been waiting. Yes, and, and in the final 522 here, I hope yes. that we get to hear it. But if if we do get to hear, what would your goal call be? If I well, I feel like if I do it now, I'm going to jinx it That's for the true. king. Yeah, okay. you don't want to jinx it. Or would it help them score? I, I see. I don't believe in jinxes. I, I, I don't know. I, and I, and I, okay, so it's it'd possible, be something like this: Kopitar with the puck. He dribbled, he skates up the ice and says, shot on goal! He scores! Put that baby to bed without a diaper! Something like that. I like it. Descriptive. Yeah. That's a, that's a little chick hern in there, you know? Oh, no. No. Okay. Now we're okay. For a second there. Guys, what I gotta ask you, you're on the road yeah. 41 dates out of the year. Yeah. What's your favorite city to travel to? Oh gosh. For for me, Let it'd me be guess. Montreal. Buffalo. Oh, Montreal. Yeah. Yes. Montreal. We miss you. 
How about this? Can you read that? Oh, we've got a wine fest we need to talk about. Don't miss the LA Kings wine fest on March 30th. Prior to the game versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Come down to Staples Center at 5.30 p.m. p.m. Uh, that's Pacific time, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. And enjoy a couple glasses of wine on the City View Terrace. Tickets come with an L.A. Kings stemless plastic wine glass. Not actual glass, plastic. Visit lakings.com slash winefest to purchase now. That sounds like a heck of a good time. Mm. You really should have a scotch tasting, though. Ah. If you really want to bring in the crowd. Now, will, what sort of wines will... will Will it be sampling? I, I will say this: it would not be Burgundy, no, because you would never drink Burgundy out of plastic, ever, ever. Maybe no, a, no. Maybe a Pinot, Chablis, Pinot Grigio, Grigio. Tyler Toffoli could probably. Say will that. there be any Boone's Farm <laughs> there, Ooh. or Bartles and James? Where that's stepping it up? Because if they're, uh, I'm there. See, you lost me with this because I, I just don't know my wines. I don't know my spirits. Or what was that one wine that used to come in the ceramic bottle that they used to have uh, commercials for? Oh, gosh. Never mind. The Castle. I think it was called The Castle. castle. It would fit with the Kings, kind of royal right. uh, yes. theme. Royal theme. Go, Kings, go! Go, Kings, go! They can't hear me, can yeah. they? No, they, no, they can't. They can. We're too far up. Oh, well, the fans will get going if you right exactly it, now if only you had Bailey's drum then you Yeah, could really really get them going San Jose with the shot. No closed down by daddy And there's gonna be a penalty on the play San Jose is gonna work it around. Oh, they the goal the goalies left. He's quit. He's decided I've had enough and he's he's Oh, no, they brought an extra man on the ice. Sorry. I thought the goalie had left and was just gonna run for the showers and Jeff Carter will be. Los Angeles, number 77, Mario Pillar for interference. Oh, interference. Yeah. I don't know about that. Right off to the side here. Watch the. Oh, oh. No, that's just a little love tap. Do you call that interference? Timo Meyer, who went down, he was just fined $2,000 for diving. It fits right there. Well, let's throw him in. Look at that. Looks like a dive to me. Yes. What's the guy's name again? Timo? Timo. Well, you can't trust a guy with the name Timo. That's for sure. Pop Popcornopolis penalty kill. First opportunity for the San Jose power play. How's the power play kill this year? Eh, not good. Uh, 15th in the league? Eh, 29th. Oh, 29th. Out of 50 teams? 31. Oh, okay. So, yeah, not good. Yeah, no. We try to, uh, you know, look at uh, the bright side. It had been playing better of late. A little bit more structure. But. A little more structure. Well, they didn't run the octagon. That's yeah. why. San Here Jose, meanwhile, is uh, sixth in the league in power play percentage. So they know what they're doing here. Well, I feel, I feel like they're nervous, San Jose. They look a little nervous to me. Nice, quick. Take that. Sharks. I think they're only nervous because they're in the presence of Well, I think they, they can feel it. There we go. Nice work. So the Kings, there's 10 games left in the season. Mm -hmm. Looking to build on uh, some, high, some high notes for, for next season, I assume, right? Playing a lot of the younger players. Indeed. Right? And, uh, and we've got a whole bunch of them uh, that we have looked at over the course of the season and tonight seven defensemen most of them young players oh, looks oh like there we go just hold on to it can you just can you just lie on the puck oh yeah oh that would have been a sweet little shorthanded nine more seconds eight more seconds on the penalty seven more seconds guys you're almost there five Four, three, keep going, guys. Two, they killed the penalty. Yes. Burritos for everyone. I don't know if that's a promotion, but you can I enjoy your I was going to try to throw my burrito onto the ice, but I don't think I can make it. Well, I think you've also had pretty bad luck with throwing burritos at things in the past. Quick. 
The Ar Arco top tier play was on the penalty kill, presented by Arco. Here it is. Joe Thornton with a little wrist pass over to some, oh, some guy, nice. 62. And Quick just stood his ground and said, no, not in my house. Take your rental car back to Burbank and get on a flight to Southwest back to San Jose, is what Jonathan Quick said with that. He said all that with that yes. save. <laughs> He's able to get a lot of words a in lot a of short words. period yes. of time. Well, as you know, a picture paints a thousand it, words. It does. It really does. It sometimes paints 10,000 words. Last minute of the play in the period. This is the McFlurry. Oh, the, this is the McFlurry minute. Yes. This is where things get crazy. A lot of things can happen in the final minute of the period. Oh. And so far, nothing's happening. <laughs> but it is still exciting. I mean, it's really come to a standstill. It's, well, there's a breakout right there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Clifford down in the corner. Shoot it. Just shoot. Oh, well, they don't have the puck. You asked about laying on top of it. I think if yeah, Andrew King was... did that to Trevor Lewis there. Oh, I feel they might drop the gloves right here for the last nine seconds. Someone's going to drop the gloves. I have a good feet. No. Oh, they're just going to skate it out. Well, that was the close yes. of the second period. Kings only gave up one. Fought off a power play down 2-1. Still in it. Still in it. Yeah. Still in it. And this was just a thrill. Gentlemen. For both of thank us. Thank you Pleasure. so much. Um, you know, I've done a lot of things in my life, a lot of things in the career, and this is truly in the top, I think, a thousand things I've ever done in my life. Oh, we are. I put it in the top 1,000. We are glad to be a small part of it in yes. the presence of greatness. Ron Burgundy, thank you so much. Thank you, Alex. Pleasure. I can smell the Jimmy, from here. Thank you, Pleasure. my friend. We're Guys, gonna I'm going to leave this burrito up here if you want it.